All right, now we're going to demonstrate the use of the pellet stamp and stick clear glue as well as the black stamp and stick. Now the advantage of having two different ones, I'll give you a quick idea. On this little piece of gourd I've also prepared with a wood burn design to show you how you know the two different um, uh, colors will look. Um, what I'm going to demonstrate at this point is metal leafing by Stuart Superior as well as the uh, two glues I just explained to you and Stuart Superior accent powders. Now um, when you apply the black stamp and stick glue to a surface that has no color below it or if you're a rubber stamper and you're doing the same on paper what will happen sometimes in this process there may not be a hundred percent coverage of the leafing so it looks kind of uh, a job left undone if that were the case the leafing would not stand out as, as attractive because then you see yellow gourd showing. Well in this area here I'm doing the black which not only helps give metallic finishes uh, a very nice depth if there by any chance is any leafing that might not stick you still see the black behind it which is just wonderful for depth. Now the important thing to do for success in using this product is you must use the heat tool. It is a shiny glue that you could see in the camera right now it's shiny and we have to heat set and it will become a matte like drier finish which has already happened on this gourd here. Um, there might be a small sheen but nothing to the way it was just a second ago wet. Then what we'll do is uh, be sure that the whole piece has been colored uh, properly with the glue. It's dried. I'm going to add a touch of gold leafing. And then what you'll do with a sponge brush is pat it down get, so it has every chance to stick to every part of the glue and then just wipe it off. Save every bit of your leafing. Well, now we'll go back and really kind of brush and clean it. And um, here is a good example where I didn't press down very hard on the leafing before I started brushing it. There's two things you might want to try to do is just press it back in and the heat activated glue is so powerful that you can actually correct that little area. It's when there isn't enough glue that that leafing might not stick to that area. So it's no problem to add just a touch of glue back into the area and try it again. In this case I'm going to leave it just like that because that black, that little touch of black is quite attractive. Now I have um, a nice little suggestion. When you have leafing that's surrounding outside the area of intended use, the sanding stick is my absolutely wonderful tool I rely on. And as you can see I'm barely touching and all it's going to do is remove the unwanted leafing from the area and give it such a nice clean uh, leafing. The other thing I do, if there is any leafing that went in the burn line, I simply reburn on a low temperature to clean it out, make it very, very crispy, clean looking, and it's a very nice finish. The next thing I'm going to do now is show you the difference with the clear. And all I need to do at this time is I use a baby wipe to clean 
the glue off of the paintbrush and it's pretty well cleaned off now and I'm going to use the Stampin' Stick clear glue. We don't need to use a, a, a lot of this product. It's very, very effective. So over here now we're going to do another spot and this makes it a little bit more challenging because it's clear and if you don't have any color below it this is a good place to perhaps miss uh, even a fraction or a hairline in of this glue in the uh, design that you're painting but can you see the little bit of sheen but it is very very clear and again the same thing we can wipe off this brush totally clean in one second we're also going to need to heat set this will uh, also turn from uh, a shiny wet to a uh, matte almost hard to find area but I know that that's where it is and can you see right there how amazing that glue adhered to this leafing so quickly now what I will do carefully is just what you saw me do remove the bulk of that leafing I'm going to go back and put a little bit of pressure in the design just to be very sure that I got the right uh, coverage that I would like and now I will back uh, my cleaning area again with the just the slightest touch of where the glue might have transferred from the rubbing process this is the most incredible powerful glue however it's not intended to glue two things together in like you know Elmer's glue kind of gluing but it is heat sensitive heat necessary to activate it and it will accept your leafing your mica powders accent powders as well as chalk embossing powder and uh, glitter and so now we have pretty close to the same visual however if I did not have the black under there it wouldn't look very nice and I'd have to do it over in the spot that I missed but I am gonna leave it 